Hello, and welcome back to the Pokemon Blue Randomized FIFO Nuzlocke. I am Ectric, and we are back after having gone through a bunch of housekeeping. We went through the Safari Zone last episode, and we are now going to go get some encounters to the right of this city, and basically try and get as much training in as possible before we take on the gym, um, because I'm not sure about the levels. I'm a little bit nervous. Mewtwo will probably be able to handle anything and everything that gets thrown at him, but, um, don't want to take any chances. And I'm going to do something real quick. Hopefully this doesn't mess with the recording at all. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, we're good. So this is the a new encounter. We'll fight this person first, though. So, I have been, uh, recording a bunch of stuff lately. Um, Pokemon's kind of fallen on the wayside a little bit, which is a shame, because I really enjoy playing Pokemon. Um, and this has been a good run-through for us, but um, mainly what's been happening is um, Animal Crossing came out, and I've just been recording that a ton. And everything else kind of came, fell to day before recording, or day of recording. So I, I've kind of fallen a little bit behind, so I'm trying to get back on track with this. Um, and trying to make sure that we... Uh, end up with um, a decent schedule so that I'm not rushing to record things last minute and posting super duper late. Um, because these ones are supposed to come out at uh, noon. Uh, this one's probably going to come out afternoon just because um, I'm recording at 9 in the morning day of. Like I said, I'm a little bit off on exactly what I want to be doing. But um, this one should come out like early afternoon and then I'm also recording tomorrow's um, at the same time, or right after this, so it sh that one should be up normal time, and then from there on, I've come up with a nice schedule so that I record um, in bulk for this series with plenty of time to be able to edit and have them all scheduled up so that I don't have to worry about posting day up, or s missing one, um, which is probably the worst case scenario. Uh, we want to get Harry some more levels, so we will... Oh, we could just use Fly! Um, what could Weeping Bell have? Uh, it would have Vine Whip, which is not very effective. It'd probably have Wrap, which could be annoying. And it has Stunts stun for. Alright, hopefully we don't get, um... Okay, cool. Um... So, it has Stun Spore, it has Acid, which is not very effective on me. Um, I want to keep Harry in, if possible, so I'm going to use a, um, Paralyze Heal. I'm going to deal with, uh, Paralyzation because I don't have a Paralyze Heal. I think I tossed it last time when I was in the Safari Zone. Um, as long as we don't get, uh, Paralyzed, we should be good. Alright, good, and rather than wasting... Oh, I could have been using Confusion this whole time. That's good. Alright. Well. We're good with that, and we defeated this person, so we're good. Alright, Harry's getting some good experience. I'm gonna go back and heal. Um, I'm also going to turn in the gold teeth so that I can get strength. Um, because that'll be a good move to put on... Whoever I decide to put it on. I haven't... I forget who I'm planning on putting this on, Putting strength on. Um, I think it's this house right over here that we need to, uh go into to get strength. So, yeah, this one. This guy. Beautiful. No problem. Um, alright, so we get strength. Now we have to decide who we're going to give it to. So, let's see. Mewtwo already has a good move set with Surf, so we, we're good there. Um, Barunga, let's see his move set. We'll also treat this as a bit of a team recap. So we've got Brunga the Primate, um, who knows Spike Cannon, Fire Punch, Seismic Toss, and Waterfall. So we want to keep Waterfall, Fire Punch, and Seismic Toss. We could get rid of Spike Cannon because it does varying um, d damage. It's 3 8 chance to do 40, 3 8 chance to do 50, or, or 60. And then two eighths 
or one eighth chance to do, or no, sorry, it's one eighth chance to do forty, three eighths to do fit sixty or eighty, and then one eighth chance to do a hundred. And strength is base eighty, so that's definitely better than spike cannon. So I think we'll, if we give it to Pringle, we'll get rid of spike cannon. Um, Aldrin, the Electabuzz, Nose, Ember, Thundershock, Sleep Powder, and Thunder Wave. I kind of like this move set, although if anything, I would get rid of Ember for strength. But um, I feel like this is not the Pokemon to be giving strength. Um, oh, we should also check what their attack stats are. So 84. Maybe that's what we should be focusing on. Um, 104. So. But we already have a good move set for this for po for uh, Mewtwo. Brunga 102. So this one would be better than Eldrin. Um Harry, we could get rid of Cut and give it Strength instead. Although we would need Cut eventually, I bet. Um, not very good attack though. Although it, we haven't evolved it, and it's only at level 24. We've got Sadstone. Okay attack, but we've already kind of got a good move set for that one, and then not a very good attack. Um, so I think Karunga's probably the move, because that's a good attack stat, and it's better than Spike Cannon. So we're going to give Karunga strength. Um, use HMO4. Yes, we're going to teach this to Karunga. Strength in place of Spike Cannon. So Spike Cannon was good, but Strength is much better, so we are good with that. And now, let's go get this item. Oh, right. Gen 1. Strength. Good. Push that out of the way, and what item is this? A potion. Kinda lame, but that's okay. Alright, now, um, I think we should go heal up real quick, and also clear out our bag of unneeded items. So I think we can put uh, both Surf and Strength into the PC so that we don't have to deal with um, running out of bag space because we've got unneeded um, moves. Because if anyone at any point dies and we need to get back to uh, using those uh, TMs, we'll need to go to a Pokemon Center anyway, so... Or HMs. I keep saying TMs instead of HMs. Alright. We're gonna deposit items. So we've got to keep all those. We're gonna deposit that one. And we're gonna deposit this one. So after the gym, I'm thinking that maybe we go and start trying to get some of our legendary bird encounters. Um, I think that Zapdos is available. Actually, everything's available now that we've got um, Strength and Surf. That was the last one we needed, so we can get all of them, theoretically. Maybe we'll do, like, a Legendary Bird episode next, after we uh, train up and get our encounters over to the right of Fuchsia. That might be a good one. Although, I don't know if I can get all three in one episode, so it might be Legendary Bird two episodes. We'll see, though. This episode is going to be spent getting um, these two encounters over here, getting a bunch of um, experience on these trainers, and then... Hopefully, starting up the gym. Alright, a Weedle. Um, I mean, we gotta try and catch it, but... Let's give it to... Oh, I forgot to heal up Harry. Um, let's see. Sadstone will be is low enough level that we can, um, manage to catch this Weedle. Alright, um, so we wanna use Sleep Powder. And now we're gonna use Rack. Um, it's still asleep. We'll just throw chuck, start pop, chucking balls at it. All right, perfect. We got the wheel. A hairy bug. That's gross. Um, oh no, that makes that makes wheel even weirder. The fact that it's hairy. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What are we gonna name it? Um, what's a creepy name? Um, I don't know. This is, uh, Grog. I was going to say Greg, but that's kind of insulting to people named Greg. Your name isn't necessarily creepy. 
but grog sounds good. Sounds kind of like gross. So, grog the Weedle. Hopefully we don't get to the point where we need to end up using him on our team. Um, although Beedrill would be kind of cool. Um, let's go heal up while we're back here, and then we'll go get some more encounters. Or encounter. Oh, we can also get the second um, Snorlax encounter, so we should probably grab the um, Poke Flute. <sighs> Darn it. Come on. There we go. Ah, the speed up button. I tell you. Alright, let's go heal first. Good. And now let's go grab the Poke Flute. Dry it on. Nope, not that one. Um, let's see. We want to wait until I forget what level we want to get Sad Stone to before we get. Um, I think it's level 34. Um, that one. I also should check my TMs at some point. There's a bunch of stuff that I should probably check out to remind myself of what I have in here. Maybe I'll do that between episodes so that you don't have to watch me go through my PC again. Because last episode was kind of mostly that. Although I ended up cutting most of it out. So it was a very short episode. But, um, I think after this episode I will check that kind of stuff out and figure out exactly what I got. Remind myself of what I'm, what I'm up to. But for now, we'll fight these trainers. Alright, Kanga's gone. Um, I should put Sadstun up front. Uh, Magma. Um... We'll give Bambi this experience, because Bambi... Um, ground type moves will be super effective on that. Perfect. 31. Completely tough. Um, let's get Harry some levels. We'll go into Kuranga and use Seismic Toss. Oh, right, it's a um, Dragon Rage type move. Set damage rather than super effectiveness. Bulbasaur. Um,. I could probably take this on. So, um, we can get confusion on it. Oh, and, uh, fly. Uh, leech seed. Um, that's not bad. Alright, cool. We defeated the bug catcher, who is actually a bird person. Um, we're gonna switch. Let's switch Harry up front. He definitely needs some levels now that we're uh, actually gonna use him, other than as a HM slave. Alright. Uh, we should get rid of Cut on him eventually, though. I should look up where um, the uh, move deleter is so we can get rid of Cut eventually on him. Because I don't... I need to remember if there's any other places where you need to use Cut um, in order to get through. I think at this point it's just Surf and Strength and Fly if you need it. Um, Bambi's a bit tagged up, so we'll just go into Mewtwo for this one. Perfect. Good. Harry's starting to grow up a little bit. Machop. Um. Harry can use fly on this one. And confusion. So Harry's basically become a uh, psychic type in all but name. Or in all but actuality. In all but reality. I don't know. Whatever the saying is. We're gonna use confusion on you. Um. Good. Good. Alright. Harry's nice and safe. Um, we'll switch him out after um, and go into Mewtwo again, because Mewtwo's a little bit lower level. Um, whenever I need a fire type to be taken out, I think I'm going to go to either Mewtwo or um, Brunga. But I'm not sure whether I want to... Uh, go into one or the other. I think I'm just gonna basically try and keep them evenly leveled so that they, um, one doesn't get, like, way above the other. Alright, let's fight you now. Magikarp, you should only have Tackle, which means I can probably fight you just fine. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Uh, Jolteon. We'll keep you in for now and then go into Bambi. You shouldn't have anything to hurt me. Alright. Bone Club. I missed. There we go. Alright. Harry's growing, growing some more. Alright. Um, we should probably go back and heal. I don't want to uh, 
end up losing someone because they, I switch them in when they're tagged up. So, we will go heal up our team and then go right back to uh, trying to get that other encounter in the Snorlax encounter. Alright, all healed up. So, um, while I'm kind of going through this, um, I can talk a little bit about my new setup. Um, I've kind of been talking about it already and um, in other episodes and in other series, but um, I did did a bunch of messing around with my setup um, since I've been in quarantine because it's been a good way to, for me to um, deal with the fact that I'm stuck inside for the most part. Um, I moved my desk into the new spare room. I've mentioned that in other episodes. Um, I moved my TV in here so that I could use it as a second monitor, and also so I can have an easier setup for when I'm recording Switch games. Um, and I also moved around all my furniture in my living room, um, because I'd been meaning to try out, try out a different setup, because, um, the way I had it set up, um, before, I, in order to get from the kitchen to the living room, and I would, for the most part, um, eat dinner in the living room, as opposed to at my dining room table, because it's just a card table, and I live alone, so I might as well eat at the coffee table instead. But, um, I would, um, I had it set up so that in order to get to the, to the couch that I would always sit on, I'd have to go around the couch and, like, go make a ton of extra, you know, turns and stuff like that. It was just very inconvenient to get to the couch, so I decided to rearrange the furniture in my living room so that it would be, um, more conducive to me being able to get to, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the couch to be able to eat there and sit down on the couch. But then I ended up moving all of the stuff into the spare room, so I've started to spend all my time in the spare room as opposed to the living room. So really, it was kind of pointless. But, um, you know, it's still fun. Um, it's kept me sane. I went for a run yesterday, or it was more of a walk and with occasional jogging, but um, I felt really good about doing that. I got outside for like an hour, um, made sure to stay at least six feet away from everyone. Uh, there were a lot of people out, which kind of tells me that, you know, everyone's kind of trying their best not to go stir crazy <laughs> throughout all of this, but um, it's been, it's been um, interesting. I, I feel like I could probably handle staying inside for large amounts of time better than most just because um, if you, I leave myself to my own devices and don't force myself to go out, it's kind of what I'll do anyway. Um, I generally don't get bored of staying inside as, as easily as most people, um, which in some ways, in this very instance, is good, but for most cases is probably not the best, you know, mindset to have. But, um, you know, it means I've been dealing with this just fine, and um, I've still been forcing myself to go outside so that I don't, you know, get really unhealthy, and so I, I don't start getting sick of it also, but um, I don't know. Um, so far, I've been uh, doing pretty well with it, so I've been happy with um, how this is going. Um, I figured it was pretty a good idea to basically have it um, so that I start learning uh, or start uh, getting into the habit of exercising again. Um, I would exercise fairly regularly last summer, um, pretty much every day, and um, I was starting to see some really good results, but um, what ended up happening was uh, I started taking classes again in the, in the fall, and it was I got to a point where I was only exercising like once or twice a week, um, which wasn't great, but it was still better than nothing, and then over Thanksgiving, I got completely out of the habit of it, and uh, it was just a... I, I, I never really picked it back up afterwards. Um, every once in a while, I would go and try and get myself to go again, but um, it, the habit was completely broken at that point, so I um, really want to try and get back into it, especially now that I've got so much, you know, free time. I'll, I'll, I mean, other than the fact that I've been recording a bunch, so that's been taking up a lot of my free time, but... Um, the fact that um, I don't have to go outside all that much unless I, I want to um, means that I kind of have uh, a lot of control over exactly how my schedule goes. So I think that this is probably the best case scenario for me getting back into the habit of um, working out regularly. 
so I've been trying to use this as an opportunity to get myself back in the habit so that once this whole craziness is over and I have to go back to actually having a regular schedule, um, it will still be the case that I am um, in the habit of working out and making progress towards getting a bit healthier because, um, I mean, I'm not like super duper out of shape, but I'm pretty out of shape and um, I used to be a lot in a lot better shape, so I'm trying to get better about that. Is Diglett's coming out? Um, we'll uh, switch into Mewtwo so we can just surf it. Um, it's really nice having. Um, what do I want to waste? Um, we'll waste a Swift. Oh, never mind. It's faster than me. Well, that's scary. Or, no, Swift doesn't miss no matter what. Oh, that's... Okay, that's very useful to know. Um, that's a quirk of um, this gen, I think, because it completely skips the uh, accuracy check, which includes the check on whether the Pokemon can even be hit. That's good to know. Um, so whenever I have to deal with, like, a Flymon or a Digmon or, you know, any other type of thing where it, it disappears for a turn... Um, I don't know if bounces in this gen. I can deal with it. Um, with Swift. I'm going to switch into Harry to get him some more levels. And then we'll switch into Bambi to use some Aurora Beams. Beautiful. Um, a chop. Let's go back into Harry. Harry can handle this. But yeah, so um, I'm trying to get back into the habit of exercising and... I mean, it's been one day, but it felt good to get outside and also to feel like I was actually doing something to better myself. So, hopefully I'm able to keep up the up the uh, new schedule and be able to get into better shape and start um, being a bit healthier. I'm also trying to uh, change up my diet a little bit. Um, I, for the most part, I feel decently good about my, my uh, diet. I've been cutting back on the amount I eat a lot. Uh, which has been enough so that I don't really... I'm kind of level, even though I haven't been exercising basically at all. So I think that if I were to s start exercising and also incorporate a, f a bit more um, vegetables into my life, because they're expensive and I'm not good at cooking vegetables, so unless they're a part of like an overall dish, like if I ever make, um, you know, a stew or something like that, I don't really make stews that often, but... Unless it's part of something else that's, like, the main entree, I, I generally don't get too much. I try and buy apples and stuff like that, and I'll have one of those a day, but, um, I, those are, I want to get vegetables into my life because apples alone aren't enough. I completely forgot what I'm doing. Oh, um, Dodrio. So, I will drink into this. Um, good with that. Does do is Pursuit a thing in this gen? Cause I'm, cause Dodrio is like one of those where they have pursuit and it can be really scary to switch train against them. But I don't think that's an issue in this gen. I haven't seen it at least. It might just be that you get it later in later levels and um, to start it's not an issue. Um, Bandy can handle two uh, of the uh, Dragon Rages, so we should be good. And okay. perfect. Raise your speed as much as you want. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, Paris, go into Harry, and then, um, fly. Good. Perfect. So, uh, we're making good progress. Um, I'm gonna try and take on this trainer, maybe one more after that, and then, um, we will go and, uh, call it an episode. Oh, no, not that one. Although, Eldrin would have been able to handle it, handle it I think. Um, we've actually got decent levels compared to these trainers over here. Um, I think that the gym is definitely going to have higher levels because we were, even in the last gym, we were facing level 40s. Um, and I think this one is m meant to be taken on after those, so it's probably going to have higher levels. Um, so we're going to Eldrin again. And Thundershock. Thundershock. Beautiful. We're get, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to make sure that um, our team is well leveled, and we don't have to deal with um, any issues with uh, some random level 45 mon that's immune to absolutely bodying our team. Because 
Right now, we've got a really good squad, and I don't want to lose any of them, let alone a bunch of them. Uh, Alright, we want to use that for cut. Get this uh, item over here. Oh, and fight this trainer. Mr. Mime. Uh, definitely don't want Harry in for this one. We'll go into the two. Um, Swift. Swift, Swift, Swift. Beautiful. Alright. Take you out, and now go grab this item. Nope. Come on. There we go. Oh, what was that? Um, let's see. TM34. Skull Bash. Didn't we, um, have that on, um... Yeah, we did. Um, we're gonna sell that one, because, uh, it was a two, two for move. Um, we had to wait a turn, and then, um, after that we could, uh, attack, and I think it was not that, that great of a move anyway. So, we'll just sell it, get some extra cash, and, um, I think that this is probably gonna be just about it for the episode. Um, I'm gonna go sell that, uh, TM real quick, and then we'll heal up our team and, uh, be good, so... How do we get that item? Can we get that item? Um, oh, it's a Voltorb. Never mind. Interesting. Okay. Well, never mind. We can't get that item because it's not an item. It's a Voltorb. Um, oh, we could get surf uh, encounters in all the towns that have little islands in, or uh, lakes in them. That's a, That might be a, a pro play to do. Let's see. We're going to sell all this. Only a thousand, but that's okay. Oh, no, we don't want to sell any potions. We do want to buy, um... Ooh, we should buy some full heals. Definitely. Um, we'll get... We could just buy a bunch of full heals and then, um, sell our, um... Specific ones. So yeah, we'll buy 20 full heals. That should be plenty for now. Um, I don't want to buy any... We should probably buy some Ultra Balls. Because we're going to start getting encounters that are... We'll buy 15 for that. Good. Um, and now we'll sell the all of these. The antidotes, the ice heal, the burn heals, and the awakenings. That'll get us some more cash, and we can just use the uh, full heals instead. I could theoretically just leave them and then use them up as opposed to selling them and wasting some money that I spent, but um, it's probably just easier to um, have them sold to get the money back, because the chances of, of us getting um, frozen twice, burned twice, put to sleep twice, and poisoned four times, um, it just doesn't happen that often. You need to buy them so that, just in case, but um, the chances of you actually using all of them are slim, and if you're going to use them once, you're probably going to use them multiple times in a really scary battle. So it'll be just be better to have full heals. Um, we'll move this up so that it's next to the Great Balls, and that should be good. Let's go uh, heal up our team and call it an episode. Um, Pokemon. I hear that you have to cut everywhere just to get around here. Um, yeah. We still haven't surfed here in, in this game yet. We haven't had to. Uh, let's see. Heal. Alright. So, with all that, we are going to call it an episode. I'm going to um, go continue on to Route 12, which is right beneath um, Lavender Town, and also get the uh, Snorlax encounter. And we will uh, do that in the next episode. But until then, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode and had fun watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until then, I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.